Three nine. No, not three nine. Let's do thirty eight. Hey, uh, so it says find vector v. Where's v? Oh, this one right here. With the given magnitude in the same direction as u. U. Okay, so the direction of thirty eight of u. It's going to be one, two, three, and up three. And so I put a dot right there, and this is, um, this is my vector. Okay, so this vector stops right there. That's its length. Um, I don't know if its length is six, but we do need to find a vector that goes this direction and that is of length six. So how the heck would you do that? Right now, this is not six. What, what length is that? Let's see, nine. Oh, wait, sorry, let me not skip steps. Negative three squared plus three squared square root. So what is uh, the magnitude of u? This would be nine, this would be nine. Yeah, rad 18, so that would simplify to three rad two, which is our magnitude of u. Okay, so if that's my magnitude of u, dang it. It's a three rad two, it's not a six. How do I make that into a six? Okay, now there's, there's a couple ways you guys can think about this. The first way I thought of was, why don't I find a unit vector of negative 3, 3? Find the unit vector of negative 3, 3, and then multiply it by the scalar of 6, which would then make it of length 6. Yeah, I will show you. Okay, so my unit vector for you on this one is, we're not doing these guys. These, these keep distracting me right here. Uh, I'm going to take the negative 3 and divide that by uh, 3 red 2. And I'm going to take the positive 3 and divide that by 3 red 2. There's your unit vector for u. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, can we simplify? Yes, we can. We have negative 1 over red 2. And then this one's going to be, um, what was that? Uh, 1 over red 2. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this one has a magnitude of 1 now. Just, this is going in the same direction. In fact, if I were to put this on my already graph vector, it'd probably be more like this, right? Because he's only one unit long instead of three red two units long. Maybe it's a little smaller than that. But I want him to be six units long. So how do I increase the magnitude to six? Multiply it by a scalar of six. We're going to scale it up to a six. So we get... 6, negative 6 over red 2, and then uh, 6 over red 2. Let's, let's, um, let's test our hypothesis. All right. Uh, let's make this. Um, let's find the, the, the magnitude of this. All right. Let's do that up top. So, oh, disgusting. I have to go negative 6 over red 2, and I got to square that. And I'm going to add that to positive 6 over red 2, and I'm going to square that, and I'm going to square root that. Man, do you guys think we're going to get 6? I hope so. What is 6 times 6? It is 36. That is over um, 2. And then I'm going to add to that. What am I going to add to that? 36 over 2? Oh, man, that is definitely not going to be 1. Oh, no, wait. We don't want it to be 1. <laughs> Funny. Okay, uh, that's going to be... What is 36 divided by 2? Um, 1, 8? 18? Is it 18? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what is 18 plus 18? Oh, what's the square root of 36? Hey, hey, we win. And you guys are like, I did it a different way, and I'm so much cooler because I did it a different way. You're not that cool because you did different. No, you're not. Okay, there you have it. That's your answer.